everyone, this is Fort Norm from Super User Project Dial. Now, as you can see, we have the familiar Windows desktop heater, except there is one thing unusual. This is running on my Raspberry Pi. So that's what we are going to be taking a look at today. I hope you enjoy the video. So first of all, let's look at some information and some stuff in task manager, stuff like that. So first we will go down here and we will go to about your PC. You can see that I'm running this on the BCM Broadcom processor. I have it running at 2 gigahertz right now up from the stock 1.5 and you can see my info right here. And so I have Windows 10 Pro and I have the dev version. And so this is a Windows Insider build and that is what I think you have to use for Windows on Raspberry at the moment. Now let's take a look at Task Manager. I have my CPU usage here, which if we just let that set, it's not super low, but it's not terrible either. RAM, with low amounts of RAM, it's kind of an issue, but this is just kind of a test thing anyway. Then I'm running these from a a micro SD card and this disk usage is actually really good right now sometimes it gets high disk usage though and then we have our Ethernet right here so that's what I've got and so let's take a look at this first of all I want to let you know that I did some performance optimizing so I disabled visual effects as you may have noticed and I did some other things. I disabled things like Cortana, Windows updates, stuff like that that might slow it down a little bit. Well now let's take a look at some web browsing and stuff like that. So this has Bluetooth working. So Wi-Fi is not working but Bluetooth is working. And so we can play a video from my channel using a Bluetooth speaker. I have a Bluetooth speaker on and connected and let's take a look. Let's take a look at this official release video for Ubuntu. Now let's go right here and I have this resolution down but let's just try it at the high resolution just to see how it goes. This always takes a while on the Raspberry Pi to go full screen, but we will we'll go stats for nerds. And that has loaded. Let's see how that goes. Hi everyone, if you were watching this video on the day... So the sound is working, but it's kind of loud. I turned it down. So that is definitely dropping some frames. Let's try it at a lower resolution. That's actually working surprisingly well. So the first part it dropped some frames and then it stopped. So if you run videos at a lower resolution that might work better and the whole the whole experience is better at a low resolution. You can change that through the UEFI firmware. Now let's try, um, I'll show you some benchmarks. So we will go to user benchmark. And so it gives, it wasn't able to do my SD card and stuff, but if we go here and we can see it's performing as expected. 
but it has a relatively low single core score. The CPU can handle email, light web browsing, and basic audio video playback, but it will struggle to handle CPU intensive tasks. Okay, so then the RAM, and I think that if you can go to 8 gigabytes of RAM on any computer, that would be a lot better. I would put this the yellow, but it is what it is. So if we take a look at our CPU, we can compare this to others if you if you use user benchmark, but we can see we have points for normal, heavy, and server. They're all red. So it's performing way above expectations, probably because I have it clocked at two gigahertz. But it's still not very good performance compared to other things. Then we have our RAM. So this is quite low bandwidth for the RAM. Anyway, so we have that and I will show you some results from Jetstream 2, which is a browser benchmark. So we have a fairly good score for a Raspberry Pi. That is very impressive, especially since it's running Windows. But yeah, if you compare that to some other computers, you can just, you know, get an idea of how how something like this would perform. I will just close that out. Now I am running from a very small micro SD card. So if we see here, I don't have much space available. So I wasn't really able to install any software. I tried to install a screen recorder, some other stuff. I wasn't really able to do that because of lack of space. And if I were to do a screen recorder, it would probably, you know, use a lot of space because I'm recording video. Anyway, so I wasn't able to do that. However, if you are going to try this out, I recommend that you use a larger card if possible. But I have one larger card, but it is failing probably or something. Anyway, it's really slow, especially with Windows. I tried that a while back. So Geekbench, I couldn't get Geekbench to work at all. And it said, you know, it started up and whatever, but as soon as I ran the benchmark, it would just evaluate my hardware and stuff and then it would just stop the benchmark, but the program would stay running. So I wasn't able to do that. So I, I'll try a word processor. There's a built-in one called WordPad. I was going to install LibreOffice, but I don't have enough space for that. So, you know, for, for things like this, it should work very well. And I could probably install Microsoft Word and all of the Microsoft Office stuff. And so now what I'm going to do is shut these down. Actually, I'm going to restart and we will see how quickly it boots up. Okay, we are to our boot manager. And so we have it on. I, I always go into the thing and do it because I've had some problems in the past where I had to like boot from network and, and whatever that might be a setting, but let's just go right here. So we will go ready, set, go. Okay, so that was just under two and a half minutes, so not super quick to boot up. I'm sure it would be a lot faster with an SSD. So now let's take a look at the Windows on Raspberry control panel. Okay, so let's see here. So this is our Windows on Raspberry control panel. And so we can see our CPU usage, RAM usage. Um, and card usage, so it's basically kind of a different version of task manager. But let's take a look at some of the other things. So I don't know exactly how this works, but this is if you want to hook up maybe some different sensors and stuff. Applications, we can install applications like this. 
then about you can see everything there overlay and if we go into settings this is something that we can use to adjust our resolution and if we we can use these to overclock our Pi or we can set values here manually so you could take it up very high but that would enable turbo which as far as I know that voids your warranty so I don't know if you would want to do that but we can you know adjust some things here if we wanted to but that is Windows on Raspberry control panel so it's kind of a useful tool now to finish up this video I will just show you the Windows on Raspberry website and some basics on you know how to get started with this so I will link this page in the description where you can go and get the stuff so we can see Windows on Raspberry so if we go to download the latest version we can download it here so this is the tool to flash it's kind of like you know Raspberry Pi Imager or Berlina Etcher and so the official installation guide also linked in the description this has this is a very useful thing on how to install Windows on Raspberry but if we go to uupdump.net this is where we get our, our ARM images so if we go right here this is how I did it we go to the dev channel and we go to this build then we go next and I did Windows 10 Pro then we go next again and we can download and convert to ISO anyway so that is how you get started installing so you can follow this install guide I may make a video on that soon but that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this video subscribe and like if you did and we will see you next time everyone